हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द सपना सुम स्कूलिंग यूट्यूब चैनल नमस्कार विद्यार्थ्या आज अपन एट स्टैंडर्ड साइन्स थर्ड लेसन फोर्स एंड प्रेशर ये इम्पॉर्टंट नोट्स इतने लिखना आहोत यह अभ्यास के तुम्हारा धड़ा समझू घूप मदद हो रहा है इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू राइट ऑल दिस इम्पॉर्टंट नोट्स फर्स्ट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड मोशन कंटिन्ूस टू मूव विथ द सेम स्पीड एंड डायरेक्शन वेन नो फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज न्यूटन्स फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ मोशन Contact force. A force is seen to act through a direct contact of objects or via one more object. Such as force is called contact force. Non-contact force. A force is applied between two objects, even if the two objects are not in contact. Such a force is called non-contact force. Inertia. The tendency of an object to remain in its existing state is called its inertia. Inertia of the state of rest. an object in the state of rest cannot change its state of rest due to its inherent property this state is called the inertia of the state of rest inertia of motion the inherent property of an object due to which its state of motion cannot change it's called its inertia of motion directional inertia the inherent property of an object due to which the object cannot change the directions of its motion is called directional inertia pressure the force exerted perpendicularly on the unit area is called pressure atmospheric pressure air surrounds the earth from all sides this layer is called atmosphere the pressure created due to air is called atmospheric pressure specific gravity relative density of a substance is called specific gravity beyond force the upward force acting on the object in water or other fluid or gas is called beyond force refer to f density the ratio of mass and volume is called density relative density the ratio of density of substance to density of water is called relative density these are formulas pressure is equal to force upon area on which the force is applied density is equal to mass upon volume relative density is equal to density of substance upon density of water units of some quantities si unit of force is newton n si unit of pressure is n upon m square it is known as pascal pa in atmospheric science unit for pressure is 1 bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 pa unit for atmospheric pressure one atmosphere is equal to 101 into 10 raised to 3 pascal is equal to 1 bar is equal to 10 raised to 3 millibar this is raised to 3 1 m bar is equal to 10 raised to 2 pascal hectopascal that is hpa si unit of density is kg per meter cube important points if more than one force are acting on a body then the effect of the body is due to net force second the object floats if the buoyant force larger than its weight third the object sinks if the buoyant force is smaller than its weight fourth the buoyant force in the object floats inside the liquid if the buoyant force is equal to its weight thank you students i have given you some points write down it carefully and read it and learn it